don't buy an ATEM switcher before watching this. A lot of people go out and buy the cheapest live streaming switcher they can find and are quickly disappointed that the ATEM switchers can function a certain way. Here's three things that you should think about before buying the ATEM, and if you stick around to the end, I'll help you make the best decision when picking out an ATEM Mini live streaming switcher. The first thing that you should consider with the ATEM switchers is output. And I don't just mean the fact that it outputs a 1080 HD signal, but I'm talking about the amount of outputs and the amount of screens that you'll want to send the signal to. I've seen time and time again, people posting to Facebook groups asking how to get both the program feed, meaning your live feed, as well as the multi-view feed, meaning the view where you can see all of your camera inputs in the multi-view boxes as separate HDMI signals coming out of the A10 Mini Pro or A10 Mini Pro ISO. Newsflash, they only have one HDMI output. And while this is something anyone could easily determine from looking at the product page, it's quickly overlooked because of the attractive sticker price. Here's the fix, and there's a few with them, so stick with me. They're all going to cost you a little bit more. Since the A10 Mini Pro and Mini Pro ISO only has one HDMI output, you have to start considering the other outputs. And no, you cannot just take an HDMI or USB splitter to it and get a second output. The ATEM can send program or multi-view to the HDMI output. The ATEM will also send program to the USB output so that you can either record on a hard drive or send it into a computer as a USB webcam signal. And finally, the ATEM can send the program feed using the built-in encoder out over the Ethernet port. So to recap, the HDMI output is the only output on the ATEM where you get an either or option between the multi-view and the program feed. The USB connection and the Ethernet connection offer program out only. By default, the only way that you can get multi-view output from the ATEM is through the HDMI output, so you're stuck with that being your multi-view output no matter what. However, there's still ways to get HDMI output of program feed. You could use the Blackmagic streaming bridge, which connects to the ATEM Mini Pro using Ethernet. Using the ATEM's built-in encoder, you can encode the program feed to go out over the Ethernet port into the streaming bridge which then converts it back to HDMI and SDI outputs. This leaves the HDMI output on the ATEM free for multi-view. Additionally, if you're not concerned with recording directly to a drive, you can output the program feed directly to a computer to record with OBS and stream simultaneously, or if you truly need HDMI output, you can get a UVC to HDMI converter, but it will have a slight lag. Two popular companies that make them include OBSBOT and RGB Link, and I'll be sure to link to those and the streaming bridge down below this video if you want to check them out. They'll cost somewhere in the neighborhood of $150, and the streaming bridge is about $250 with the added capability of both SDI and HDMI out simultaneously. Plus, it still leaves your HDMI and USB ports free since it uses the Ethernet port. A bonus way that you could get a fake multi-view out of your A10 Mini Pro is the method that I used when I originally bought the A10 Mini Pro before graduating to larger switchers, and that is to grab yourself the A10 156 monitor from SeaTech. It's a 15-inch monitor with four HDMI inputs and four HDMI loop outputs, so you can run your camera feeds through it before it hits the A10. The only downside is it's not going to show you your program output or any graphics, just the four feeds that are running through it. It was a great solution for me at the time since I could use the HDMI output of the ATEM to run the program output into a recorder like the Atomos Shogun or Atomos Ninja. This meant seeing a faux multi-view of all four feeds, retaining the ability to record, and still having the ethernet and USB ports free. I know that's a lot to take in, but it's one of the biggest things to consider before buying a switcher, and it's important to understand just how many inputs and outputs you truly have available before needing to buy additional equipment. The second thing to think about with the ATEM is being able to send feeds to external screens and projectors. A lot of people miss this one, and similar to the first consideration, they just buy based on sticker price. Let's say you wanna have your monitor for multiple view, but you also want to be able to send a video feed like some PowerPoint slides 
to a television or projector. This means that you need two outputs. The A10 Mini Pro and Mini Pro ISO only has one HDMI output. So again, you run into a similar conundrum. Truth be told, this typically means it's time for an upgrade and you probably need the A10 Mini Extreme or A10 Mini Extreme ISO. The big difference is whether or not you just need the program recordings or if you need to have ISO recordings of every camera input. Either way, you're getting a second HDMI output that can be switched independently of the first. This means HDMI output one can be your multi-view output to a monitor that you use while switching. This also means that you get a second HDMI output available as an aux or auxiliary output. The second output can be fed any of your inputs. So if you have PowerPoint slides coming in on input one, you could send input one to HDMI output two, very simply in the ATEM software control. And even better, you now gain a macro keypad on the ATEM. So if you wanna get some shortcuts for yourself to switch HDMI output two to slides, and have a second shortcut to switch HDMI output to to be one of your camera feeds, you can easily do that. It's like having two switchers in one. The third and final piece worth considering when buying is what I call the bundling issue. And this is really the one where they get you. Just like if you go to a fast food place to order a burger, it's pretty rare that you won't order fries and a drink with it. When you buy the ATEM, there's a whole bunch of things that you kind of need with it to function well. For starters, you'll need a monitor so you can see your multi-view and have a clue what you're actually doing. Second, you'll need some method of recording your live stream, whether it be directly to SSDs or to a Ninja or Video Assist recorder. Additionally, you'll need plenty of cables, which by the way, if you weren't prepared for this, HDMI cables aren't very useful beyond 25 feet, and you'll need to use either HDMI fiber or convert to an SDI signal. And finally, you'll eventually wind up needing an audio mixer or some way to get audio feeds into your switcher. I realize the ATEM has two 3.5 millimeter inputs and you could run audio through your cameras, but if you're juggling more than one microphone, you really should consider an audio mixer. I like using the Zoom LiveTrack L8 because it has the right amount of inputs for me, records to SD card if I need an audio backup, and it could even run on batteries or USB power if needed. Just be sure that you know what you're getting into before diving in. So if you ask me which switcher is right for you, what would I say? I think that the answer is to get as many features as you can afford because there's a good chance that once you use these switchers more, you'll find the limitations. In an ideal world, I'd always recommend someone get the extreme versions over the minis because they'll gain more inputs, more outputs, and it just leaves a lot of room for scaling up. Not to mention the aux output, second USB output, super source, and macro keys. If you're working in a space that will require longer cable runs, the SDI model is going to be your friend. With cable runs up to 100 meters, which is 328 feet, you'll be in a much better position to run cabling to projector screens and TVs at the front of a ballroom than you will with HDMI models. I hope this helps you with making your decision to use the ATEM switchers. Until next time.